Hi, I'm Duncan. This is Cam. And this is the first iteration of our Lang and Fetter Tail Utah. If it's any of the three C's, corn, cauliflower, or carrots, no way. I won't even look, I won't even look at them. I won't even look at them. So I don't think there's anything wrong with this plain Jane chicken breast. Salt and pepper, and you're laughing. Everyone always says they're worried about me getting scurvy, but I think I, I feel okay. Yeah, stressful times right now in the neighborhood. What do you mean? Finally pulled the trigger. Yeah, he finally got rid of that. What year is your truck? 09? 09. 09 rust bucket. 09. Manifold was shot. Made the leap. Leased like, a 2023 F-150. So you won't hear me coming anymore in the morning. <laughs> good for you, man. That's a big buy. Good it's stuff. a big buy. It's a big buy. It's good stuff. We're both making jumps in the world. Yeah. Duncan moved out of mama's house. <laughs> I bought a truck. Big boys now. We're big boys now. Yeah. How you feeling? I'm a little jealous of your 23, not, not going to lie. Honestly, it's a, it's a nice truck. I think you have no issues with it whatsoever. You're a little bit concerned, I can tell. Yeah. But once you drive it, it's because you don't have it yet. You just signed the deal yesterday. Once you have it on next week, you'll be fine. I think so. I think I hope so. He's stressing too I'm much. jealous of you getting to move out of Mama's house right across the street. Yeah, but that cost me. Duncan's short commute to work. That cost me quite a bit more than $300 <laughs> by weekly. Yeah, you're not so, wrong. Yeah. No, you're not wrong. It happens. You'll get there one day. You're young. <laughs> young man. Yeah. With your 35-year-old man mustache you got on there. <laughs> well, oh, sorry. Put me on blast. This man went to Subway and got a... <laughs> Half cheese and mustard. <laughs> yeah, I was dying. I was dying Don't last week. Don't knock until you try it. Don't knock until you, you try it. You paid $12 it. for a ham, cheese, and mustard. Yeah, and I do it again. <laughs> I do it six days a week. It's good. <laughs> Sorry, man. Ham, cheese, mustard, mayonnaise. Italian herbs and cheese bread, please. Thank you. I'm sorry, bro. I can't. That one, that one gets me. That one gets me. Or a pizza sub with ham. That's fine. That one's acceptable. Sorry. Yeah, talk, we, could, talk we, about get, we could get into lunches. If you want to talk lunches, we talk, can talk lunches. Let's do it. Let's do it. Yeah. Well, let's, let's, let's back up here. So Duncan always laughs at me when my mother packs my lunch. As soon as Duncan moves out of his parents' house... But he's been buying a lot more lunches lately. He's right. And he's trying to tell me that he made his lunch the whole time. So here's the thing. I make, I actually meal prep. You say you do. No, I do. You could go in my fridge right now and look <laughs> at all the shit in my fridge and meal prep. But do I bring it to work? No, that's my fault. That's my mistake. You live two seconds across the street. You just go, go get I it. I know. Right? I, and it's so bad. <laughs> it's so bad. Because I've been trying to be more disciplined getting up early in the morning. And then I end up sleeping in until about 40 minutes before I have to come to work and then I wake up, I shower, I come to work. So like it's bad. I don't prep anything. I prep everything the night before and then just don't bring it. It's terrible. Well it's tough when you have Simon and Derek who just buy feasts every day and Uber Eats drops it off and yeah. you can just see it walking by your desk and you yeah. get a whiff and you just want to follow suit. Brock's on that list too. Brock mm -hmm. tries to be healthy but like doesn't. And if you have a french fries in front of Brock, watch out. Oh, Watch out. Lunch appraiser. He comes down, <laughs> grab a quick handful. But he'll give you the look from 30 feet away. You'll see him, like, and you know he's coming to get your he's fries. Coming. And you can't do anything to stop it, or else he gets mad at you. Just saying. Sorry, Brock. What is your... <laughs> Rachel's got a bunch of your, your lunches. <laughs> plain chicken, no seasoning, dry. So I don't think there's anything wrong with the plain Jane chicken breast. Salt and pepper, and you're laughing. <laughs> <laughs> nah, yeah, you, you don't put like nothing, just salt and pepper? Yeah, salt and pepper, M&M's, pepper. frozen chicken breast. Is pepper spicy for you? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that explains it right there. Yeah. That explains it right there. <laughs> yeah, no, you can't be doing that. No one ever accused me of being a good cook. At least you cook, though. At least I cook. Actually, your mom cooks. It's not you. Sorry. Honestly, <clears throat> actually... We discovered downtown Julie Brown's mm. a couple weeks back, probably about a month ago, and it has been consistently good every time we go. There's whistle dogs, there's bacon cheeseburgers, there's, their poutine is bomb, like bomb. So that is, has moved up on the list for me like significantly. I had it for lunch yesterday, and then I drove by, and I debated getting it for dinner yesterday too, but I didn't. I had some, some self-restraint, but that place has been really good. Um, second one for me is Golden Chicken. That's a solid one. It's like a little sleeper spot right across the water. Good place. Um, if we're doing a top three, third, I don't know. 
Like Subway's always a go-to, and that's not just local to Trenton. I think Subway's just bomb. The Trenton Deli's a good one too. Never really talked about, but yeah, those are my top three. I think. I I think the counter across the the bridge here is underrated. I went over there and got a Reuben the other day, and that'll fill you up pretty good. It's but I'm picky, spot. so it's hard to it's hard for me to pick because I don't like much food. I eat the same thing pretty much everywhere I go, but I'd say downtown Julie Brown's is the spot right now. You Jonesy's got their number on speed dial, so you can just shoot them a text and they have it ready in about five minutes when you get there. So I'd say downtown Julie Brown's is probably the spot right now. They, they delivered yesterday. They delivered. They delivered. I did yesterday. not know that. That is crazy. That's bad. I can't believe we can't drive two they minutes up well, the road to they, get food. I think they would really benefit from just moving their trailer to our parking lot and just leaving it there because we're probably their number one customer base. Langenfetter Motors alone. I mean, at least once or twice a week, we put in an order for like 150 to 200 dollars. So that's yeah. probably a big, big yeah. part of their we, we pay their mortgages at downtown Julie Brown. <laughs> <laughs> if you if you go to your girlfriend's house at night and you guys they make you a beautiful, nice dinner, but if they make you something you don't like, what do you do in that scenario? They have they know what I like and I don't like, so they know ahead of time when I'm coming over for dinner and, and they treat me well there and they make sure that I have something I like. Um, I've gotten pretty good. It's been a long time. I've gotten pretty good at covering up when I don't like something. But uh, if it's any of the three C's, corn, cauliflower, or carrots, <laughs> no way. I won't even look. I won't even look at them. I won't even look at them. I'm not a big vegetable guy. I eat green beans, and I started eating Caesar salad lately. And I gotta tell you, my guts feel great. <laughs> sorry. Three C's. Can you go back over that, please? Can you go read? Corn, cauliflower, and carrots? I will carrots? not eat the three C's. Corn, cauliflower, and carrots. <laughs> They're the worst things that has ever touched my tongue. I don't like I don't like them. And, mu- and mushrooms. No mushrooms. Oh, No mushrooms. You're missing out. Yeah. Cauliflower in particular is just horrendous. I don't know how people eat that. You're missing. Oh, well, yeah, I can understand. Some people smell in cheese, and they think it's good, but not enough cheese can mask that for me. You cheese and cauliflower? I know, like cheese and broccoli. Melted bro. cheese on cauliflower is what my mom does. Yeah. She thinks she can hide it, but no. No. Not enough. I think you got your bad eating habits from your parents, man. My old man. I'm, I'm, I'm less picky than my old man. We're farmers. We are meat and potato type guys. What can I say? <laughs> this guy's got 7% fucking milk fresh from the teeth, and he complains about everything yeah, else. Yeah, if you want some real milk, you got to come over fresh from the teeth. <laughs> Everyone always says they're worried about me getting scurvy, but I think <laughs> I, I feel okay. <laughs> I think I'll live. Holy shit. Healthiest, healthiest man alive. <laughs> I have a hard time telling people... When I don't like something, for example, my haircut last week um, got butchered and I just couldn't, I don't have the heart to tell them. But that has never happened to me yet at the girlfriend's house, thankfully. But uh, when the time comes, yeah, you just got to, if you don't breathe through your nose, you don't taste. But I'm also a big texture guy, so that, it's kind of a 50, toss 50-50 there, but. It's your girlfriend's parents, you can't disrespect anything they make. No. You can't show them that you disrespect. They know me, they know what I like and I don't like. They try to get the vegetables I do, like the green beans or a Caesar salad. And I'll, I'll eat those. But other than that, they, they, they save the stuff, the, the crazy exotic vegetables for the nights I'm not there. That's the corn, and the I cauliflower, pre- and the carrots? That. Yeah, the three C's. The three C's. And if they do have them, it's a quick pass to the next person beside me. <laughs> That's a Thanksgiving special right there. Yeah, so no, I don't want those. Every time I go somewhere for dinner, I'm always scoping out what, what's in there. What, what, what do I like? What am I not going to like? And you, you know before you sit at the table so you're prepared. So you can just quick pass off what you don't like, but... Everyone knows me by now. They know what I like and I don't like for the most part, so I survive. Farmer's wrap? Bacon farmer's sausage? Wrap. Yeah, oh. farmer's wrap. I'm bacon and egg, sausage, farmer's wrap. All three. <laughs> like, you just, all three, and you just wrap it up, and yeah. it's so good. I probably, eat t- I probably eat too many farmer's wraps in a week. I probably have one to two a week. So, for viewers that don't have Tim Hortons in Canada, farmer's wrap, and I've seen this before, this is why I bring this up. Farmer's wrap is essentially a tortilla wrap. You'll have egg, cheese, uh, your choice of either bacon or sausage or both, and then hash brown and kind of like a spicy chipotle mayo. Mm-hmm. Um, and it's great. Obviously, the, it's all wrapped up. It's not dry. It's grilled. It's, it's bomb. You can flip that out and get it on just like an egg, regular um, like homestyle biscuit. So you can still get the, the egg, cheese, bacon, sausage, hash brown on a biscuit, but... Yeah, for, for anyone who watches this video that's not Canadian, it you got to take a trip to Canada and get a farmer's wrap in the morning because let me tell you, it will change your life. You can't. And it sounds simple, but you cannot recreate it at home. As good as they are, you cannot 
recreated at home. It's never as good as a Tim Hortons authentic farmer's wrap. I have been trying, even not even Tim's, to recreate 